Hi Mitch, are you an original member? Yep, I started the band in 1967. At this time, rock and roll was uh, a bit outdated. Yes. Uh, it was a summit of pop music with Rolling Stones, Beatles, etc. Sure. Why did you choose to play rock and roll? It was very risky. I love rock and roll music. I was uh, a big fan of Gene Vincent and Eddie Cochran and I just loved the music and I wanted to play rock and roll and not pop music. Yeah. In England, there was the audience for rock and roll in 67? Um, we used to play an originally at a cafe uh, called The Nightingale. That was a cafe that all the motorcyclists and people with American cars went to and um, we all wore leather jackets and uh, we were... Um, they, they, people were a little scared at first when they saw us and then they realized that we were there for the music and so that brought other people in and we started playing around in other clubs apart from the Nightingale and we played at the uh, Royal Albert Hall with Bill Haley and Duane Eddy and then we went to Germany and played in West Berlin, in Munich, uh, Salzburg. Then we made our first record, which was Nervous Breakdown. And that came out on, in England on the major minor label. And I think in Europe it was on Ariola. What artist did you see when you were younger? When I was younger, the first show I ever went to uh, was Eddie Cochran and Gene Vincent. And then I saw people like Big Joe Turner, um, I saw Chuck Berry, Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis. In England? Uh, in England, yeah, yeah. Lee Dorsey, Otis Redding, Bob Dylan, Screaming Lord Such, Johnny Kidd and the Pirates. There were, there were so many. So and you, many. you saw you saw Eddie Cochran? Yep. Oh. When he was on tour in England? Yes. Just before he had an accident? Yeah, a month before. A month before? Yeah, yeah. In 60. And, uh, another show I saw was uh, Little Richard with Sam Cooke, and that was, again, shortly before Sam Cooke was murdered. Yeah. Is it true you played with Gene Vincent in the late 60s? Yes. How was Gene on the stage? He was very good on stage. He was usually drunk <laughs> off stage. He had a lot of pain from his leg, mm. and he was taking lots of painkillers, aspirin, uh, paracetamol, and it made him quite unwell. Where rehearsing, it was a case he couldn't always remember the words of songs. That when he got on stage, it was like someone had flicked a switch, and he became Gene Vincent, and he was really, really good, mm. really good. Okay, he still had a brilliant voice. Thank you for the interview and good gig.